Hello chess lovers, Soren here and in today's video we will go back to year 1941 Tbilisi in order to witness a very unique attacking game. On the white side is Lithuanian chess master Vladas Mikenas and his opponent is Soviet Russian chess master Sergei Lebedev. Mikenas opened up with d4 to which Lebedev answered with knight f6, c4 e6, knight c3 d5. With a transposition of moves we reached queen's gambit declined. Bishop e7 e3, h6 bishop goes back, black castled, rook c1, all this is a standard stuff seen many times. Black is setting up a very solid formation in the spirit of uh, Slav defense and Breaking into pieces this defense usually requires lots of efforts. Yeah, once again this is a tough defense by black, a reliable setup. Other popular alternative in here is b5, but in the game we have knight d5, which is also a good continuation. Takes, takes, nothing special going at the moment, both players are to develop their pieces, black has already castled and now is undermining white center with c5, now also wants to expand on the queen side, something which will allow him to activate his pieces. Uh, knight goes to f6, although going for b5 is better, more preferable after a6, uh, b5 looks more logical. Anyways, knight f6 was Lebedev's choice, knight e5, bishop d6, bishop h4, again pinning the knight, bishop e7. It looks like that Lebedev is not sure how to proceed, that's why that uh, b5 expansion followed by a development of the light squared bishop could be very useful. Queen goes to e8. Yeah, this bishop b1 can now allow at some point white to play queen d3 and start and try to exploit the weaknesses around black king. d takes c5 and g5. g5 is a very dubious move, it's weakening the king side too much. Well, better is knight d7, instead we have g5. Bishop goes back to g3, bishop takes c5 and a very interesting decision by Mikenas. An anti-logical move, you know, guys. Yeah, very hard to come up with a move like that, I guess. F4. He's allowing black to win this pawn with the check and then an exchange. Black accepted the challenge. Bishop takes e3 check. King h1, bishop takes c1, f takes g5. Yeah, in return, white is only winning that pawn, but he's also opening up the rook's path, right? Yeah. Bishop takes g5 at the same time protecting the bishop. And now what? Here we go guys, this time we have rook takes f6. This combination requires really deep calculation, something which I'm sure Mikenas did successfully. If bishop takes f6 then queen d3 and black king is getting checkmated, there is no way out. In the game we have king g7 and queen d3. Finally, the queen is also occupying a very important diagonal and taking square. Knight f7 can be a nice threat now. For example, let's just make a random move in order you can see how knight, knight takes f7 can win. Yeah, and if you win the rook, then bishop e5 check, 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 mate. Black played h5, and now knight f7 is winning, but white played h4, the second most accurate move. By the way, queen h7 is really bad, in this case you can even uh, lose, in this case black can gain advantage, there is a mating threat if here queen d5, suddenly black is managing to survive. That's why after h5 we have h4. Now if bishop takes f6, then queen h7 checkmate, if bishop goes back to h6, then Rook takes h6 or knight takes f7, both are winning. So black played king takes f6 and now what? Here we go guys, knight g4 check landed. If king e7 then queen d6 check made. Knight g4 is good because you are opening up the bishop's diagonal, h takes g4. And then, then comes another sacrifice, bishop e5 check. King takes e5, queen d4, checkmate. This is amazing, guys. This is amazing. 
Want to take a look at this combination once again? Here we go, guys. It all started with f4 really crazy. Well, white could pretty much even play safer, like queen d3, but f4. Bishop takes e3, king h1 takes, takes, bishop g5, rook takes f6. This is a massacre. King g7, queen d3, h5, h4, king takes f6, and knight g4 check. Holy god. Knight g4 and bishop e5 are the last nails on black's coffin. Takes, check, checkmate. In the end, the chess puzzle for you. The task is to win with the white pieces. There is even a forced mate in 7 and we'll wait for your answer in the comment section. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in my next video. Take care.